asking what she's been doing since me. Yes. She shot a movie for sci-fi. Called Tasmanian Devils. He's a young Canadian director. He won the directing reality show. And Tasmanian Devils is his first movie. He's amazing. Does anyone want me to spell Zach Lepofsky for them so they can write it down? No? It was awesome. <laughs> Those guys, Jared and Jensen, are super sweet.
it was it fun to, to work on or was it grueling? Yeah. Do you are you still connected with all those people? Because you know she got really close to everything. For anyone that didn't see the hand gesture, she agreed that it was grueling. And fun. And fun. Yes, they just had a reunion in February. Uh, was there any blood and chrome at that reunion at all? Or? <laughs> no? no. Still close friends with many of the actors and actresses. We are a family now. We get along really well. I learned a lot about acting from her and just felt like so lucky to have an older woman mentor in my life. No, I don't think they knew. I think about a month, I'm just guessing. Enjoy any character that's well written. Back to the previous question. I enjoy any character that's well written, but I seem to keep doing these sneaky types. Mm -hmm. uh, the gentleman wants to know from a fan perspective what was your favorite show? As far as the story, you know. Like But I had some of the most fun on Sanctuary. Did anyone see it?
see it's on computer time. As an actress, are you aware that something like being part of Alice Star Wars is people watch that series and bought it over and over and over? That is because every time you watch it, you get something else out of it. So you did so much more. I was just talking about that with a fan today. I never imagined I would be so lucky to work on something so layered and beautiful. I sure hope so. What was it like to watch the show for you, having been part of creating it, but now it's been a couple of years when you when you pop in and you get the same sense of this other world that we do where you watch and say, oh, I remember when we did that. It was cold that day. <laughs> It's more like memories now, missing all those people in the time we shared. but I would like to watch the whole series again. Then I think I really could get into it, start to finish. I'm terrible. I don't watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to work on the series with Laura Linney. She's one of my favorites. There's so many cool things on HBO and Showtime. And I'd really like to do something more comedic. Is there a moment that you wish had turned out differently as far as BSG goes? Or are there any moments you usually think about after a project that you wish might have gone a different way or that you would have had more input for? Like not dying. <laughs> that would be it. <laughs> Dang, Tyrell. <laughs> was that hard when they told you that that was going to happen? Like, how, how did they break that to you when, you when it's the end of the show? You actually made it to the last chapter. It's very end. Ron 
was very gentle. Said the audience needed to get the I remember that whole feeling of looking at her and the betrayal that I knew was inside me that I had no control over. I just have to eat, and that is my lunch, clean, pure. So did that make that, that, you know, if you think of the part as a uniform you have to put on every day when you went to work, did it make it harder to start putting it on when the skin got so complex and controversial? How did you find, was there a psychological training or anything they would give you? I mean, is there, are there steps that you go through as, a, as someone creating the character? Definitely.
remember struggling to understand who, what I was, and then having to make a choice about what I was going to do with that knowledge. try to live in the truth of my being. Do you think that's something that everybody struggles with on a project like that? I mean, you really have this the duality. I think mean, a lot of different characters have to go through some version of that. I think it's our struggle in life. You guys are talking to Tori here. <laughs> She's at your disposal. Um, are you aware of the Battle Star Galactic War game? And if so, do you know that your character is one of the most coveted in the game player? Uh, she says, um, what is the fantasy of who I am versus who I am really? Going back to the previous question. There's a board game. You're the awesomest <laughs> one. <laughs> Fucking cool. <laughs> Excuse my French. <laughs> Why am I coveted? It's just because your character has this sneaky political power that allows her to <laughs> <It's ultra power. laughs> that allows her to, to gain more cards in the game than the other characters. Like, you can consolidate power. You get an unfair advantage. You're a cheat card. <laughs> like me. I like me. Power. I just want to say, as this series went on, one of the, what I call, the failures to make the fact that we're dealing with the silence really came together a little too much. And I love the fact that your character stayed most true to the original vision of the silence, which is basically just screw humanity, let's wipe them out. And was being able to keep that aspect of, I guess, the silence and keeping that aspect in the show, was was that something that you enjoyed doing? And it seems to me like you're conflicted with the fact that you were a sneaky bastard on the show. That I think that you were a breath of fresh air in, in the final show because you were keeping it to what it originally was. Interesting. It's like I've been talking about this show for years now. And the conversation never gets boring. serious at the right times. Katie and I acted like teenage boys together. <laughs>
toilet humor. It was terrible. <laughs> Kate Vernon is like a sister to me now. Big sister. Do you guys call each other when you see each other on TV appearing in different things? Is it like, or is it just sort of a, now I remember a working plan and maybe tweet something to, give to the Twitter speaker? We don't watch TV. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, we've already approached that stuff. I haven't seen her in years, and I'm so excited. Because that was another, Love that girl. That was another one of the great pivotal, controversial moments for you guys. What was, that, what was filming that scene like? Was that, I mean, you talk about being conflicted, but you had that great it was look hard. of evil right before you did the final act. So uh, was that fun to actually have that transition into a full-on bad guy for a couple seconds there? Raptor. <laughs> the hardest part was little Nikki crying the whole time. He was scared of me when I was in character. Because he loved me when I was myself. The moment the scene started, he would start to cry. So evil. So now, did that help you though in that scene? You think did that contribute? Because I mean, I still think that look right before you press the button is so intense that maybe that was that that little extra the spinach for Popeye to make it really hit home. <laughs> um, what about other pairings with characters and stuff? I mean, I thought of it great when you were with guys Baltar for a little while, and you know it was interesting that two sneaky characters were kind of making their way together. Um, what was your favorite pairing, like you know, between him and? I would say Terrell would be the other major one. Do you want me to know what's going Can't on? Can't pick. <laughs> Loved working with James. He's so improvisational. working with Tyrrell revealed so much of the character. So it was interesting to explore. Not in an institution, but many, many, many acting classes with many great teachers. I'll take a few more. Still working on it. So, do you have um, any any particular places in the show 
well, it was more apparent to me when we were being revealed as Cylons. Bear and I actually spoke about the creation of all along the Watchtower. I was in India at the time studying a bit of music with my guru. Ustad Sultan Khan. So we spoke about finding a theme for Tori's struggle with her discovery and added an Indian flair. Very it's very cool. I just love the simple keyboard melody. When you see a Cylon enter. And the Tycho drums. design of the ships in space are exquisite. There was one time we were all giggling so badly. She's giggling when Lucy's character came onto the hangar deck and I took off with her saying I would deliver the meds to the president. I almost peed my pants. <laughs> times I couldn't even say my lines. They came out like a squeak. Michael Hogan started it. <laughs> so if you ever see him at a club, you let him